Rally leaders told us they believe that APD has a culture of aggression and are rarely held accountable for shootings. That's why they gathered at the steps to APD headquarters downtown to make sure their leaders are aware. Another human being's dead. We will not be silenced. An anti-police violence rally outside of City Hall and APD headquarters. I'm sickened by this. I'm disgusted by, by this happening over and over. I was seeing a, a pattern of increased police shootings in the last few weeks. This rally's organizers said they planned on handing out this list of police shooting victims since 2010 to city leaders here at City Hall as they were leaving for the day. But City Hall closed at 4 p.m. in anticipation for the rally against police violence. The most recent shooting on protesters' minds? Robert Savelli, who was shot and killed by Officer John O'Quinn Monday night. I know him from prison. He would uh, avoid going to rec to avoid contact with other inmates. Lapel video shows Savelli appears to point a gun at Officer O'Quinn, but friends and family Families say he would have never hurt anyone. He suffers from agoraphobia and he has substance abuse issues, but he's not a bad person. He's a good hearted person like myself. That could have been me a year ago. Rally leaders want more training for APD officers to deal with mentally ill and potentially dangerous suspects without using their firearms. And it's not just this thug that was killed. This thug actually is a human being who has a life, who has a family, have people who love him. Now, investigators are still looking into the Robert Savelli shooting, but police say the officer had just milliseconds to react.